Okay, so the F1 tracks, you know, it's a board that's been around for a while. Um, we always enjoy testing the F1 stuff. It's quite different, this board, to most of the other boards that we're looking at. Um, uh, and I'll go into a bit of detail, but we've got two. We've got the tracks light, which has got a wooden core. You can see the a bit of the wooden core in there. Um, and we've got the Trax Carbon series. Um, so essentially, it's the same board, it's the same outline, uh, it's the same rocker, it's the same bottom sheet. But most importantly, when we talk about the Trax, where it differs from the other boards in is the, the side rail profile. HRD, it's called. What that means is that uh, if we look at the rail, this, this ABS rail, we have quite a thin amount of ABS and then it, it goes fat and then thin and then fat. But also it doesn't just change its size, the profile of the rail changes as well. So we have quite an abrupt edge where you would normally expect to see it. And then as the rail moves towards the middle of the board, it kind of cham chamfers, I think that's the right word, in, so it, it kind of goes in big, more rounded, more soft, which is really cool because actually not a lot of boards do this. You've got lots and lots of grip behind your back foot. The rail is thin there. Also having the, a, a thinner section here allows the board to flex in the tips, which we want. Typically most twin tips, we have a stiff section in the middle and then less stiffness and more flex in the tips. And that, 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 that varies with wooden cores and carbon cores but it's very very important and the way they, they get boards to flex is like as you can see here it's got a lot thinner and that gives the board a little bit of flex at the tail which means that your edging is more progressive and smooth um, and it allows the board to really like a ski or a snowboard load up and then release so we get lots and lots of grip with the tracks um, and then this soft rail in the middle adds kind of some smoothness um, it feels very, very progressive, the rail. It doesn't just go on, off. This board does prefer being ridden on that beautifully shaped and very unique rail profile. So when you're on a rail, you have lots and lots of control. But if you're stood upright and riding this board flatter, it, it's not going to have that kind of automatic tracking through the water that some of these other more specific free ride boards are going to have. If you're riding a board like the Apex, when we went back to the Apex, if you haven't got that kind of technique, you can go from 100 to zero quite quickly and then you might, might, you might spin out um, or, or lose grip. With, 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 with the tracks and the shape of this rail, it's all very, very incremental, um, which means that you have more control, it feels very, very comfortable on the water. But the, but the track's light is slightly heavier with the wooden core than the carbon, but at the same time, it's softer because it has a wooden core. The carbon series tracks is quite a stiff board. Uh, I, I, I prefer this for me. I like taking a lot of power. I want a board with a bit more bite. Um, someone that's not gonna be riding quite so powered is probably gonna get on with this board a little bit more because it's just softer and more friendly. I always take all the boards out to see how they work in super light winds and the tracks out of all these boards here was the one that got me going the best in light conditions. So it's a good light wind performer. Um, does that mean that it's no good in strong wind? No, it's absolutely dreamy in strong wind as well. It's also the rocker on it's pretty good. You know, it's not a face sprayer nice nice looking rocker line on that um, an easy board to ride but still pretty quick there's a single concave or a single channel in there this one the channel is qu quite centralized in the middle of the board it keeps the board the middle center section of the board flat it removes some of that banana of the rocker so it gives speed and it gives comfort as well it really reacts very, very quickly and it's, and it's not locked in. It's not pinched in the tip and the tail. So you can push out, slide about, do some presses down a wave. Um, it's super, super easy. You know, we've put 
the tracks in the middle of all these boards because it has the nice parts of the free ride amount. It has good amounts of free ride comfort with good amounts of speed and performance. Um, and it's a really, really good example of a board that does do the free ride and freestyle thing very well.